What up guys, it's Jay here from TV Time with Jay and welcome back to another review and this time we are here to review Superstore Season 5 Episode 2 Testimonials. Now as per usual with my episode reviews, I'll be recapping the events of the episode and then going over my thoughts and feels about the different plot points all throughout. So if you haven't seen the episode yet, do yourself a favor, watch the episode first, then come back here and tell me your thoughts and feels in the comments down below because I will be going into spoiler territory. You have been warned. Okay, so this is it folks. Not only is it Episode 100 but it is also America Ferreira's final episode on the show as a you know regular cast member. She is officially leaving. That's right. Amy has moved on to corporate in California. So uh, we get Amy's last day. Now before I get to talking about that, let's go ahead and quickly address the first episode of the season. I'm not going to lie you guys. I did not like that first episode. Uh, it felt very cringy. A lot of like super dated coronavirus references. Maybe it's because this is like the third show I've seen. Obviously directly address the coronavirus uh, pandemic, you know, in the show. And I've seen it handled uh, much better. I mean, look at my review of The Good Doctor and how much I praised that. And honestly... Even though uh, there are a couple people, a few people out there who disagree with me, I personally really enjoyed how This Is Us handled it as well for their, uh, you know, season premiere. Uh, but for Superstore, it felt like the same recycled jokes from every other season premiere. You know, Tiger King, uh, you know, hoarding toilet paper, all that stuff. I mean, granted, yes, it's super relevant considering, you know, they work in a, like, Superstore, you know, obviously a Walmart stand-in type place, and I'm sure anyone who works in retail in a store like this, like a Walmart or a Target, uh, can definitely relate, but I don't know, I just didn't find it as funny. I felt like it was kind of just recycled, um, and it just, it didn't get as interesting until Amy actually directly talked to Kira about you know, the concerns she had for her employees and, you know, needing PPE and uh, obviously you know, stashing that away to protect themselves instead of having the company they actually work for backing them up and helping them out, right? Like, you know, they're so focused on, you know, obviously donating to hospitals and other, of course, worthy causes, but not actually worrying about their people. So, you know, that part was actually really interesting, but that was only a small portion of the episode. Most of it was just kind of recycled coronavirus jokes. However, this episode was a big step up uh, honestly, it was a uh, very emotional, uh, you know, Amy is the main character of the show and she's been the main character since season one. Now, granted, I've only been with this show since season two, but that's still pretty early on within the show's lifespan. So, you know, I've seen, you know, Amy's growth as a character, of course, her, the development of her relationship with Jonah, which is a big part of this episode as well, because... Amy is, you know, trying to figure out, you know, this huge next step in her life and, you know, what she wants to do. And uh, her and Jonah are on two completely different pages here. Of course, Jonah, with everything, you know, he's done and, you know, how involved he's become in Amy's life and how much he loves Amy and how, you know, well they have gotten along together and integrated each other into their lives. He's like, no, I think I'm ready for the next big step. But Amy... She's been through that before. She felt she married Adam, you know, because she felt like she had to. And that kind of stifled her growth as a person. And she doesn't feel like she's ready to do that again. And, you know, while I understand where she's coming from, I also understand where Jonah's coming from. You know, Jonah, he's done all this. He's put all this work in. And she just kind of says, you know, let's see how it goes. You can't just expect him to let it see how it plays out uh, when he's invested so much into, you know, their relationship. So, of course, you know, he's hurt by that. And, you know, we kind of figured uh, since, you know, Jonah's actor didn't announce he was leaving that one of two things was either going to happen, uh, that Amy and Jonah were going to break up or that they were going to do a long distance relationship storyline where we would never see America Ferreira except for in rare cameos, but you know, Jonah would still be with Amy. Now I'm 
personally, even though the ship has grown on me and I really do like them together, I am actually happy that they went with the breakup route because I think it's what's best for the characters, right? Uh, I don't think Jonah can grow as a character if he is just, you know, attached to Amy and, you know, never allowed to experience anything outside of that. I mean, not to say that long distance relationships can't work and can't be healthy and, you know, vibrant and, you know, worthwhile, but it's also like unrealistic, especially for this situation where Amy is kind of not only thrusted into a lead position um, that, you know, requires a lot of responsibility, she's thrust into this position mid global pandemic. So it's going to be a lot to handle. Amy is going to have a lot on her plate. And I don't think she can give Jonah the time he needs, right? Like, I feel like it's fair for both of them to just kind of, you know, break up and kind of experience life without the other and uh, see where they go from there. Um, You know, honestly, though, in my heart of hearts, at some point, I definitely think you know, Amy and Jonah will get back together. I just don't think it'll be during the lifespan of the show. Uh, my head canon, they, they get back together eventually. Um, I did love all throughout, like, of course, Sandra's reaction to the Jonah Amy breakup. Garrett, of course, being Jonah's best friend, him having Jonah's back. I thought that was really good. Of course, like all the goodbyes from Mateo and especially Cheyenne and Glenn. That's a really sweet moment where like, you know, Glenn had saved Amy's, you know, job application from back when she was a summer hire 17 years ago. I thought that was really adorable because, of course, Glenn has always been kind of like a father figure to Amy. And of course, Amy and Dina, their friendship. You know, they started off as these, you know, work rivals and enemies and eventually they became frenemies and now they are genuine best friends. And of course, you know, Dina being, you know, the serious person that she is, she's like, you know, I'm going to miss you somewhat. And maybe the more I think about it, you might not be as replaceable as I thought you were. That was just Dina's way of saying to Amy, you know, I love you and I miss you. And I'm going to miss you like crazy. Uh, And it was super sweet. This was a great send-off to an amazing character. I cannot wait to see what else America has in store uh, for her projects, what what stuff she takes on. She's one of my favorite actresses, and I cannot wait to see, you know, what she uh, gets involved in. I'm I'm always going to check it out. I love her, and uh, this has been an amazing journey. Of course, I'm going to stick around with Superstore and I will review it every single Thursday. I apologize for this coming out a little late. Uh, I had stuff to do, but I did manage to get it out. So uh, definitely tell me your thoughts and feels. Were you big sad about the uh, Jonah Amy breakup? You know, how did you feel about it? Uh, How do you feel about, you know, Amy's last day at Cloud9? Let me know all those thoughts and feels in the comments down below as always. Don't forget to leave this video a like to let me know you enjoyed it. And if you like what I do here and you want to see more from me, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. In the outro card, I will leave linked a video YouTube mysterious algorithm, things you might like, as well as my latest uploads so you get a feel for what I have to offer here on the channel. But until next time, guys, this is Jay from TV Time with Jay, and I'll catch you guys in the next review. Have a heavenly day. Peace.